Oh my gosh. This is so much better than the small room I was forced to move into after they took them out to prison. I am just so grateful to both of you for helping out an old school chum. I, uh, put your guest in the blue room. I trust that meets with Madam's approval. That's perfect, Nigel. Thank you so much. Nigel will show you to your room. Right. That's right. Remind me why you invited Rama over here. You heard Rama? She's lost everything. I'm all she has right now. And this place is huge. We'll probably never even know she's here. Okay. And when my father finds out? Look, Aubrey, you and I both know that Vimal would not have changed those DNA results by himself. Okay, that order had to have come from my father. Which is all the more reason to help her. And my father. I don't think he's going to want Vimmel's wife, you know, under his roof, blaming him for what happened. No, listen, I know that she's not too happy with her husband right now, but I don't think she blames Clint. Still, you sure you want to do this? This house is Clint's. I don't have anything of my own, and Connor and I have not been able to get the money yet. Well, you better find a way to get it today, or your new husband is going to see this. She is an old friend, and she's in trouble. Besides, your dad owes her. Yeah, well, I wouldn't assume anything as far as my father goes, so... Brahma will not rub it in his face. She's smarter than that. And she's so grateful just to have a roof over Aubrey? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry, that room just won't do. I mean, you know how I feel about small rooms? <sighs> Too many bad memories. <laughs> and the room Nigel put me in, I mean, I thought it was a closet. And I told him so, and, and, and I said, you know, he should show me something better, but he said I should talk to you. <sighs> Miss Aubrey, the blue room is already prepared. Yes, and it's lovely, Nigel, thank you, but Rama does require a little bit more space. Could you show her something else, please? Of course, madam. No, I thought we were doing her a favor. We are. I know Brahma can sometimes be a little bit fussy. Oh, I'm sorry. That that was just rude. No. Yes. I've never seen anyone roll over you like that. Aubrey, what is going on? How dare you? Cut it with... Rama has always been kind of a prima donna. So if bossing me around makes her feel like she's more in control of her life now, that's fine with me. Yeah, but does the whole household have to bend over backwards for her? <sighs> Who is that? Kelly. Hey, Kelly, what's up? Hey, um, I wouldn't be bothering you, but uh, I am here at Capricorn, and your sister, Tess, is here, and she's kind of out of control. What do you mean? Well, uh, she wanted a drink, Christian wouldn't serve her, and then she tried to grab a drink from a customer. Look, I'll be right there. Where are you going? Tess is causing problems. I gotta go over to Capricorn. Look, I'll see you later. Okay. You, my friend, are losing your touch. Kelly calls and your husband goes running. <laughs> Give me a break, Tess. It's been a long day. Trust me, the honeymoon is far from over, so dial it back, honey, because I'm letting you live here, but that does not... Do not pretend that you're doing me any favors. We both know the only reason I'm here is because you do not want me to tell your husband that you're not really Aubrey Wentworth and that Cotter is not your brother. Ladies, is there a problem? Oh, no, no of course no. not, Nigel. <laughs> we were just discussing the accommodations. Still... What I really want is a room with a view of the gazebo. Fine, great. Uh, Nigel, please, could you move Rama into... Into your room, madam? That's the only bedroom with the view of the gazebo. <gasps> I'm sure Aubrey wouldn't mind moving for my sake. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to move Master Joseph out of his own room. Then we have a problem. Mrs. Patel, to what do we owe the honor? Roma is going to be living with us for a little while. Things have been so difficult since Vimmel went away. Nigel, make me a drink. 
Excuse me. Ooh, a drink sounds good. But not here. Let's go out. To Capricorn? Okay. Let's go. David's back. I've been keeping an eye on the young Mrs. Buchanan as you requested. I'm listening. I think there's something peculiar going on with her and this Mrs. Patel person. Mrs. Buchanan seems a bit too eager to please her, as if she is, well, obligated in some way. I know, that sounds rather vague, but I thought you should know. Thank you, Nigel. I'll take care of it. Right now, I want to be alone. Of course. Uh... Oh, I know why you wanted to come here. To spy on your husband. That's crazy. Really? I think it's wise. 